Let's keep the dollhouse clean with these miniature Clorox wipes and Glad trash bags. Let's start by making the Clorox wipes. For this craft, you will need long strips of just white recycled paper. Mine are a little bit wider than two inches. Wrap it around a dowel or anything round in size. I chose a larger dowel, that way I didn't have to wrap as many strips of paper. Now take an empty jumbo glue stick, keep the tap, and cut off the bottom. I always save my empty glue stick containers because it's such a good shape and size. Even the mini ones are good for other craft projects. You will need to use an X-Acto knife to cut the bottom part off, but for the top, you can just pop it off. The paper tube that you've already created should be thick enough that it fits snugly into the glue stick cap. Add a little bit of hot glue to hold it firmly in place. And then before you glue the top on, take a strip of paper towel, roll it up, and then tug out the inside to make it look like you're pulling a wipe out of the container. And then you will glue it down into the tube. Once it's in the tube, you can place the top on and then tug out the Clorox wipes through the lid. Now there will be a little gap in the middle of the top and the bottom, so take another strip of paper and try to fit it as snugly as possible between the top and the bottom just to make the side of the container flush. That way it's not bumpy on the outside. You can use the printables from my blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com to wrap it around the container or you can use images from store ads or coupon inserts. And as always, you can make your container with whatever you find on hand. So if you don't have a glue stick, find other objects that will work for your Clorox container. I have these lids that are from baby food pouches. I just stacked them together, glued them together, and now it looks like a jumbo container of Clorox wipes. I took the printable, cut it apart so it would fit around a larger container, and again, stuck the tissue on the top to make it look like wipes coming out. So get creative and find whatever recycled products you have lying around the house. And now look, I have two sizes of Clorox wipes, like a regular size and then the jumbo size. My dolls like to be extra clean. And once they're done cleaning, they need to dispose of the dirty wipes, so let's make some trash bags. For the trash bags, I'm using another printable, and to make the box extra sturdy like real trash bag boxes, I'm going to glue the printable onto some recycled paper board first. You can use an old cereal box or whatever's in your cabinet before you throw it in the trash. Recycle it to make this box. Once it's glued on, then you can cut out the printable around all the lines provided. Score on all the lines that you're going to fold. It's very important to score the lines, especially when you put it on paperboard. Otherwise, it will crack and the paper will rip apart from the paperboard. I like to score it on the front and the back. It helps it bend easier. And then you can glue all the tabs closed. Now with these trash bag boxes, there is a spot on the front of the box for you to cut out a little hole so you can pull out all the trash bags. You can cut out this tab before you assemble the box, or you can use a box cutter afterwards and poke through once it's already together. For the actual trash bags, grab a few grocery bags. I'm using Target bags because they're white and that way I can cut through without any logo showing. Just cutting off the white side, folding it over, and then cutting long rectangles. Cut it bigger and wider than you think the trash bag will actually be because it will end up being a little bit smaller. To seal the sides of the trash bag, you will need a heat source and some parchment paper to protect the plastic. I am using a flat iron, but you can also use a regular iron or you can heat up a metal ruler. Place the side of the trash bag in the parchment paper and then lightly press on the outside to seal the plastic together. Once you have sealed both sides, you now have a doll sized trash bag. You can fold these up and place them in the trash bag box and pull them out when you need them or go ahead and place them in the trash cans all around the dollhouse. You can make different sizes, so small ones for your bathroom trash cans and larger ones for your kitchen trash cans. Now there's no excuse for your dolls to put off that spring cleaning. They can disinfect their surfaces with their Clorox wipes and toss all the trash into their trash bags. 
Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my other videos that will keep you busy crafting. Thanks for watching and just craft it.